Hello everybody, welcome to the card for Monday Night Claw on the May the 4th show. Um, up first we've got a two on two tag team match between Gadenik and Thor. They are rivals. Can they work together or will they betray each other? Up against Fault Force and Shawnee. With me is Gorilla Mezzo. What's your take on it? Yeah, really intriguing matchup. I mean, Fault Force and Shawnee, two of the dirtiest players in the game and one of the greasiest players on the planet. Um, against Gadenik and Thaw, who have had some great matches against each other, now forced to team up. I think that the action's really going to be on one side of the ring that night, but we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, it should be very interesting. And then uh, after that, it is... It's a scheduled one-on-one -on -one backstage brawl. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bizarre to schedule a match uh, backstage, not even being a match, but something tells me that the fireworks are going to fly between Rick Reckless and Ardback 001 backstage on Monday night. Maybe it's uh, just a premonition, but that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. And uh, I don't know, Jim, uh, from... from uh, from past backstage brawls, it's uh, been pretty one-sided. The the oh, I fucked this. I fucked this. I'm so bad. I was desperately trying to brag about screwing up backstage, and I fucked it up. Well, yeah. I, I mean, Rick Rick's the favorite, have... here, but you never know. Uh... <laughs> Do we have to get this in one take? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. I might like, lock in the disarmer, so you never know. You've, you've missed your chance to brag. Sorry, Scoo. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, next up, the Crusher versus Kiwi Nutsack Attack, a match that some people say should be a main event. We've got a third on the show. Two big men, uh, neither of which are actually men, uh, going at it with... What do you got to say about this one, Jim? It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, Crusher, the uh, the, the the fan favorite with his unbelievable entrance um, and enthusiasm, and then Kiwi Nutsack attack with his savage ball handling uh, attacks, especially Dangerous versus Crusher, who we all know is hung like a horse. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be one to watch for sure. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now this is one to set your DVR for. <laughs> Goliath versus Bezel. Just the amount of sexual energy between these two. I don't know. I don't know how we're any of us are going to get through this uh, this match without getting pregnant, Jim. What do you think? <laughs> All, right. All right. It's amazing. The, uh, the gyrations of Goliath and the pixelated butthole of Bezel. <laughs> it's incredible. Anything could happen and probably will. <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> all right a four-way fatal uh, a fatal four-way match between mighty zug table leg wanger frost lord and marcel mcdaniels now marcel coming off of a pretty decent performance in another mismatch four-way uh dance last week took an injury from it that might come back to plague him uh Two thirds uh, of his opponents are in this match as well, uh, with only uh, was it Crusher that was in the last one? Yes, uh, being subbed out yeah. for Table Leg. That's another battle of the big guys. Uh, last one, Frost Lord ended up winning it, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is and uh, you go two for two. And uh, and yeah, Table Leg Table Leg making his debut on Raw, so that's that's that'll be interesting. And uh, yeah, anyone could win yeah, that. Oh. All right, and the rematch of the ages. EAB almost embarrassed by Flapheart last week. Uh, really needs to come back and prove why he is the champ and uh, throw his weight around, as it were, against Flapheart. Just the utter dominance of that competitor. What do you think? Well, I, I, I've got word that Flapheart has been violating the uh, wellness policy. Um of course, nobody's nobody's gonna fucking say anything to him. <laughs> if, you, yeah. if you're scared of Haku and you don't you don't want to fire Haku because you're scared of him, you sure as shit ain't gonna fire Flat Fat <laughs> or, or even speak to him. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's uh, we, it remains to see be seen whether his moveset will be torn down or not. Um, but yeah, yeah and, and there's I mean, if there's one thing that the JFW takes very seriously, it's the health and well-being of our competitors so any sort of wellness violation is uh that's a serious charge to level at uh 
at a competitor. So we'll see. We'll see how this plays out for EAB and Flatfire next week. Yeah, absolutely. And here it is. Are you ready for the main event? All right, and this has been a long time coming. The Penny and Chunter, the fucking rats, have just been on an absolute tear in JFW since showing up and just defying odds left, right, and center every single week. Uh, they have earned themselves a shot at the Two Heads Championship against Das Hot, which is Oriolensis, the cunty wizard, and Lean Dara, the weird zombie cowboy whatever. Uh, who both have a lot to prove. They won the title in the in the in the three universe days, uh, where a lot of people have kind of commented that maybe the competition was a little bit weaker than it is in live television world, and they have not lived up to expectations thus far. So they really need to turn it on for this uh, TLC match. Yes, yeah, it's it's incredible TLC. Not one of my personal favorite match types in uh in real life as well <laughs> as well as uh in the jfw <laughs> so um yeah the, the 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 dirty rats or the fucking rats as school likes to call them. gorilla gorilla metso likes to call them um yeah it's it's interesting because they have been on a tear and oriolensis and lean gary to be honest have been woeful so <laughs> <laughs> they look right Could to be dethroned, be? but you never know. You know, they, they haven't been. Ta- they they did. They were one of the few uh, people to defend their titles in our first pay per view at Backlash, and you never know. That they might true. defend the titles again here. So um, there you go. We'll see. Yeah, maybe they maybe they're just turning it up when they need to. But uh, I'll, I'll, like I said, a lot more question marks than answers from those two thus far. Yes. Well, that wraps it up. Thank you very much, Skuro Metso, uh, Gorilla Metso. <laughs> for that for your insight and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic